gentlemen, the bare knuckle brawler is in the house. One of the toughest competitors around, Wade Barrett. The following contest is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring from Preston, England, weighing in at 246 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Wade Barrett. Strength, arrogance, and cunning all in equal measure. And his time at the announce desk has just made him an even smarter competitor. He's not just calling the action, he's taking notes. Wade's confidence is at a real high because he knows he's still got it. Has proven himself as a championship caliber player in WWE and not to be taken lightly. And his opponents, first from Sarasota, Florida, weighing in at 239 pounds, the Macho King, Randy Savage. He is a man who has proclaimed himself as king. Well, Byron, a king shouldn't address that type of disrespect. A former WWE champion who will rightfully claim the main event as his kingdom. And guys, if you're looking for fireworks on this 4th of July, you came to the right place because this match will be nothing short of explosive. Come on, Cole. You're better than that. Did you really have to go with the fireworks line? Oh, come on. Who am I kidding? Of course you did. Latino Heat! And from El Paso, Texas, weighing in at 228 pounds, Eddie Guerrero. And without question, one of the most pivotal superstars in the history of our industry. Now you're right, Byron, a true hero on both sides of the Monday Night Wars, from WCW Cruiserweight Innovator to WWE Champion and Hall of Famer. And very quickly, I can tell you that these superstars are very excited to have the opportunity to compete here tonight on Independence Day. And similarly, we're excited to be able to call the action for you, especially for this match. This is going to be great. Three of WWE's best in what should be a hectic triple threat match. Set for competition, we have Wade Barrett, the Macho King, and Eddie Guerrero. Always a feeling out process in the early goings of a triple threat. You want to gauge your distance. You want to know just how much real estate you can have to yourself. You don't want to be the first one targeted because things can snowball against you quickly. And he goes into the ring. Hits him with the counter. Uh-oh. This isn't going to be pretty. Suplex! A oh, timely counter by Barrett. Both superstars showing great awareness of their opponent's repertoire. Nicely done. Corey, there are so many variables in a triple threat. Does that make it possible to execute any sort of strategy? Well, everybody's got a plan until they get drilled in the face. You're gonna watch your back. The shot that hurts the most is the one you don't see coming. Byron, how do you plan for a battle like this? Well, I try and fight out of a corner because then at least you see everything that's in front of you. I don't know what they're looking for here. 
Looks like he knows that he who laughs last is the one with the sledgehammer. Oh, wow. Frankensteiner. Nice. Setting up for something here. He decides. Jeez. Clearly an attack that very few superstars can perform with such ease. He knew that was coming. And we just saw some serious offense. Eddie Guerrero. Oh, we know what he's doing, Michael. Go for the second. And with the completion, we see three amigos. He thinks he has it. Oh, and he breaks up the pin. right into the corner. Oh, and that surprises Wade. He's rummaging for some sort of equalizer underneath the ring. And we know when he has a chair in hand, things get messy in a hurry. Having a weakened arm can limit you in so many ways, making it harder to execute on even simple attacks. And Steph delivers the info to DDT. Line. Good grief. And Savage struggling a bit. Planning on what to do next. Oh, God. Face first. Oh, a DDT. Talk about devastation. Scoop for the pin. And the win. Yes. Broken up. And the match continues. Just caught flush. Break that up. Lift it up into the fireman's carry position. Crafty way to get out of harm there. He has a kendo stick in hand, and this place just turned into South Swanson Street. Uh oh, time to get dizzy. Take over, Byron. I'm going to be sick. I'm getting dizzy just watching. Getting carried, unsure what they're thinking. And now he rolls out, looking for a timeout. You don't get any timeouts in a fight. That's just running away. Jeez, I just hope Randy's okay. And now there's an opening. Ah, oh, flipping the script on him there. Face first with a waist lock takedown. Fishing for something beneath the ring. And of course, Kendo sticks are always under the ring in the event of any rogue ninja attacks. He may be in a bad way here. I'm just surprised that this triple threat match is still going on, Cole. I bet Saxton this would have been over by now. That's a lot to the back of the neck. A bit of provocation from Bear. Just tossing that Kendo stick with total disregard. This fight has to be seen to be believed. Who will prevail? True greats are at their bet. From way up, double axe handle. Look at this. 
this, Byron. Here comes a suplex. Style! No clue what he hopes to find down there. Oh, man, he grabbed the kendo stick. Everyone needs to watch out now. Into the ring now. Being carried around with ease. Ooh, pinpointing the trip. Kick to the gut. Hooked up. DDT. Latino Heat doing some damage. Yeah, Eddie just can't be stopped now. Oh, jeez. Here he goes for the win. Kicks out. He just won't give up. Oh, the reversal by Eddie Guerrero. Telegraph that one and delivers a blow to the gut. Compromised position here. Oh, here's a cover. Could be it. And he breaks up the pinfall. A flat out power into the scoop slam. And Eddie pays for leaving an opening. He's going for the pin. This could be. Shaking my head in disbelief over how he managed to get the shoulder up. Crucifix power bomb! And once more, Randy is under attack. Yeah, you can just tell Eddie is not playing around at this point. Listen to this place. It'll take things into the ring. Shot to the face. Oh, a clubbing blow to the back. Punch connects. Oh, no. Driving down with the sledgehammer. It could be over here. This is it. Kicks out. He still has life. How have we not? Claimed a winner yet. You gotta believe that not wanting to feel the agony of defeat is causing this never surrender attitude. Now, that'll do some serious damage. Ooh. Oh. We are witnessing a malicious string of attacks right now. His opponent's about to suffer some bad news. Up, but he's also giving his opponent a chance to recover. Getting carried around, bad spot to be in. He steps foot in the ring again. Ooh, stick punch. You can feel the WWE Universe reverberating off every corner in this building. Ooh. Reversal! Can he take advantage? Be kidding me. His opponent's about to suffer some bad news. And a reversal by Guerrero. Suplex. Setting up. Nice suplex. Gentlemen, this is what I believe we refer to as Outside the ring now, he has no need to rush. Looks like he's ready to knock things out of the park here. And that was a precisely measured attack. All the way up and around the world. Crucifix head scissor. Throws the opposition back into the ring. 
Hooked him up. Back in the ring now. Barrett messing with him, clearly trying to force an error. Savage with some agility. Jawbreaker! Call the dentist! Gouging at the face, this is gnarly. Come on, enough! That's not right. Oh, that chair shot delivered. Caught in a bad position here. Oh, put down face first. Oh, hanging on for dear life. lock and there's more up the ropes and that prevents Eddie's attack okay he's re-entering the ring lining it up talk about rocking the jaw kick to the gut hoisting up there a powerful pop handle slam Snap! Inflicting more damage to the leg. Oh, getting smacked in the head with a chair. Ooh, nasty shot to the throat. Way Barry looks set to end this. Welcome to Wasteland. Two kick out. This is insanity. Did you expect anything less? Some intimidation tactics from the Macho King. Picture perfect drop kick. Getting back into the ring. Look at the high end. He saw the front flash. Will Barrett get back up? Makes him pay with a counter. Lighten up the chest and now straight to the knee. with him, clearly trying to force an error. Neck breaker, seemingly out of nowhere. Boom on the jaw. Boom! Just mocking his opponent with that kendo stick now. He steers clear of contact. Looking for a suplex, slingshot, oh, slingshot, oh man. Uh-oh, what are they gonna do here? How about a little? Oh, the gory special submission locked in. Yep. Trying to find a way out. Elbow into an arm drag, beautiful escape. The We'd see a kick out there. Steer clear of that. Big clothesline. Climbing up top. He's got big plans. From the top rope. Comes back into the ring. He misses the target. Short flight, but a rough landing. Oh, and Wade manages to counter. And both athletes showing that they have each other's number. Before, but not on this occasion. Might be time to think outside the box. Hits him with a gut wrench suplex. What impact! Macho gets countered. Turned that one around. Oh, Ryan Hurricane Rock. Hoping to end it here. And he 
Kane stops the count. Lucky him. Up and... Oh, knee right to the spine. Ooh. And a series of vicious stomps. Yeah. Oh, the chair projected right to their face. Ooh, sharp kick. Macho moves out of the way. Headlock, he gets back into the ring. Right to the kidneys from behind. Getting clubbed by the axe handle. He's got him scouted. Kick to the gut creates separation. Down to Bowman, and a double axe handle smash. Guerrero's falling victim to the onrush right now. Now, Latino Heat has got to invent a new bag of tricks here. Eddie Guerrero, Corey. Latino Heat hooks him up. Brand Buster! Oh, drop kick. Oh! Does he get him here? And there's the breakup, just in the nick of time. This is a flat-out vicious attack. Blows to the back of the neck and then just brutalizing their opponent. Ah. Into the corner now. Oh, target acquired and destroyed. Eddie Guerrero trying to wrap things up. And that was a hell of a maneuver there, guys. Look at this. in this triple threat match. Here is your winner, Wade Barrett. Standing tall above the two other hungry competitors who are in this match. To win a triple threat match, you need incredible skill, instincts, or luck. Dare I say, tonight's winner showed all three in victory. just became phenomenal. A terrific striker, a master purveyor of high-flying, innovative offense. AJ Styles has competed at this level for decades. Such a special athlete. The following is scheduled for one fall.
Introducing first, representing the OC from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds, the phenomenal AJ Styles. AJ Styles is in a class by himself, continually adding to his accolades with every single match. A Grand Slam champion in WWE night after night lives up to the moniker of Phenomenal. You know, being known as Phenomenal, that's just the beginning. Well, anytime AJ Styles is in the ring, you have to almost assume that it's going to turn into an instant classic. Yeah, another one's imminent tonight. Oh, no, not this guy again. And his partner from Truth or Consequences, New Mexico, weighing in at 287 pounds, Dude Love. Gentlemen, it's always a good time in the Love Shack. Oh, have mercy. Oh, I'm glad you're having a good time, Saxton, because this is obviously a sign of Mick Foley's mental breakdown. shifting gears now. I'd like to take this opportunity to wish everybody a very happy 4th of July. And if you're into fireworks, don't touch that remote because this one is sure to be explosive. Ugh, who writes your stuff? A true rock star entrance. There is an electric feeling in this arena. Undeniable energy to his arrival. Setting the stage for what's to come next. And from Kyoto, Japan, weighing in at 220 pounds, Shinsuke Nakamura! Guy Shin is as expressive as he is dangerous. Here's what I love about Shinsuke Nakamura. He's got his own style, and he's always going with his own flow. Nakamura is brash and fearless inside the ring. And looks damn cool doing it. And guys, if you're looking for fireworks on this 4th of July, you came to the right place because this match will be nothing short of explosive. Come on, Cole. You're better than that. Did you really have to go with the fireworks line? Oh, come on. Who am I kidding? Of course you did. Things are about to get a little more country in here. And from Bullhead City, Arizona, weighing in at 268 pounds, Josh Briggs. A team from where the beer drowns and the whiskey chases their blues away. You would have friends in low places, Corey. And very quickly, I can tell you that these superstars are very excited to have the opportunity to compete here tonight on Independence Day. And similarly, we're excited to be able to call the action for you, especially for this match. This is going to be great. Teams in their respective corners for tonight's tag team contest. In this one, we will see AJ Styles and Dude Love. But they will be facing some fierce tag team action with Shinsuke Nakamura and Josh Briggs. 
These teams have built up lots of animosity towards each other, and now they have finally reached a tipping point. I would expect Bedlam to break loose here. Hammering away! Showing absolutely no mercy at all. What an onslaught. Well scouted reversal there. Getting set up for something in the corner. Nakamura lining it up. Return fire on AJ. Oh, hang them up on the top rope, rolling through, and then ooh, what a knee lift. And he's able to reverse. On a flying forearm smash. Oh, God. Here's the cover. Gets the shoulder up in one. Channeling his energy to stay in this matchup. Oh, what a kick. Ooh. With the tag as Dude Love. Nakamura, so elusive. Not the position you want to be in right now. Oh, right to the throat. Look at that, Saxton. He's running away. I wouldn't say that. He's just recomposing himself. Look at this. Snap suplex. And he sends him into the corner. We know what's coming next. What more can be done at this point? Nakamura style on display. Reciprocating the initial reversal. Ooh, what a punch! Close line! Tag is registered. Tag made. Tag made. Forearm smash! Oh. Arm ringer in control. Now starts to fight out with some punches to the gut. Trying to put them away, able to counter it. And a clothesline counter. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. From the second row. Right to the face. Take down. Put it to the cross face. It's cinched in. This We're going to free the arm and does just that. Big, big back body drop. What elevation. Down on the jaw. You can bite your tongue with that. Styles going down low. This is absolutely agonizing. Are you kidding me? Elbow, what a counter! From behind, back suplex! He's feeling the effects of that last hit. And tag, he did it! Let's go! How's that for a counter? These two battling to a dead heat with these reversals. Oh, counters right into the bread basket. He's been placed in the corner now. Caught him right in the jaw. Oh, what a shot. Grit your teeth. Foot to the gut. And he's able to fight Dude Love off. Bad predicament right here. Snake eyes! Good night. In control here with a swinging neck. Textbook. That should do it right there. And that'll do it. It's finally over with the win. Here are your winners. The team of AJ Styles and Dude Love. 
is pairing pain. Strong dividends with an impressive tag team win. Really putting the sports and sports entertainment. This is a duo that really practiced their teamwork. Uh, here we go to start this thing. A little uh, stare down. And maybe a show of respect. Why not? Shake their hand. There we go. That's how we need to start a matchup. All right, now that pleasantries have been exchanged, let's tear each other apart. That was mutual respect between the competitors. Well, I appreciate true sportsmanship. This match is underway, and I have to commend them for that display of esteem between these superstars. Not just a show of respect for each other, but for the ring and everyone who stepped in it before them. Absolutely, Corey. Yeah, they're class acts. Made her pay for her mistake. Miss timing with that springboard. Forearm after forearm, vicious attack. And with an onslaught of strikes like that, it's clear they have nothing but punishment on their mind. Continuing to attack the neck. Oh, draped over the top rope. Oh, look at this. What a headbutt. Oh, look at this. So ruthless. Going to the cover. And the shoulder's up. Premature to try to end things now. The knife edge chop and now continuing the attack on the knee. Straight to the knee. That kind of focused attack on the leg could provide dividends. <laughs> and pulling the arms up and torturing their opponent. Stomping. Ouch. Look at a torch of their opponent. Uh oh, this isn't going to be good. Oh, man. And Meechin reverses it. Oh, wow. What a forearm. Oh, look at an elbow high on the chin. Forearm after forearm. Vicious attack. She could pin her opponent right here. Determined as ever. Climbing the turnbuckle now. To the sky. Oh, crossbody wipes them out. Goes into the pin. Two count. And that'll about do it, folks. Here is your winner, Chelsea Green.
There's a great victory. When you're a class act like that, no one is going to hate it when you win. Absolutely, Corey. This is a big win for sure. And being able to walk out of the ring with your head held high is a good feeling too. The animal has arrived. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Washington, D.C., weighing in at 290 pounds, the World Heavyweight Champion, the We can list this man's accolades all day long. WWE Champion, a Royal Rumble winner, a man who has main evented WrestleMania. And now Batista simply demands that the WWE Universe give him what he wants. And guys, allow me to say thank you to everybody watching at home for spending part of your Independence Day with us. Congratulations, Cole. I thought for sure you were going to say some corny cliche about there being fireworks in this upcoming match. You showed a lot of reserve there. Very good job. That's Byron's job. <laughs> Here comes the 330 pounder, Bronson Reed. And his opponent from Black Forest, South Australia, weighing in at 330 pounds, Bronson Reed. Bronson Reed tips the scales at over 330 pounds, but is the agility of a man half his size. Though when that tsunami comes crashing down, you'll know you ain't facing a cruiserweight. Bronson Reed is indeed ready for war. I have a feeling we're just moments away from another jaw-dropping, pardon me, Stu, tsunami. Bronson Reed really is a force of nature, isn't he? Just a colossal superstar with a high impact, high intensity offense to match. 
You got that right about his offense, Cole. The tsunami says it all. Tangling with this mammoth of a man is no easy task. Absolutely, Corey. This matchup should be quite the collision. And awaiting him across the ring is a man that fights battles all over the galaxy. Just a mountain of muscles looking to crush his opponent, the ever-imposing Batista. Batista is just a literal destroyer and an incredible challenge. Nothing goes over his head because his reflexes are too fast. He would just catch you. Batista's a serious hurdle for any opponent. Slam! Back suplex. Oh no! Face buster. Oh, weakening the leg here. Oh, uh, stop right to the gut. Not the position Reed wanted to be in. Batista wanted to go hunting. Well, he is now. Caught an elbow to the gut for that effort. Sharp elbows to the body, looking to fight his way out. Military press. Ooh. Cover. Shoulders are down. Just after two. Not yet. Big forearm. Momentum moving towards Batista's corner. Can Reed withstand this surge? Batista's aggression is always to find him in the ring. How does he keep it from getting the better of him? Well, the animal cannot get carried away. Batista has the power, but what he needs to do is pace himself. It's a marathon, not a sprint. He doesn't want to burn himself out too fast. Counters with an attack on Reed. Cinching in a waist lock, but right hands manages to fight out with a series of punches. Wasteland into a set. His shoulders are down. He gets the shoulder up in two. He got close there. It could be do or die time. And up the turnbuckles we go. Batista looks knocked out. Cover! Ah, oh, shoulder up before three. If that was not going to keep Batista down, I don't know what will. Big move, but it's still unable to end this. Batista finds the advantage. Got the full Nelson. He thinks he has it. Shoulder up now is huge. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. The animal looking for it. Here it comes. Batista bomb. Batista got all of him. Him. Amazing. I don't know how he just kicked out. And I'll tell you what. I don't really think he knows either. Kicking out of that is only going to piss off Batista even more, and that's not something I'd recommend. Great counter! Oh, he takes control! and Reed rallying the crowd behind him. Setting up. Suplex! Hitting the elbow drop. Knife edge chop echoing through the arena. And in a turn of events, the animal found himself unleashed on with that attack. This is where endurance becomes so important in the late stages of the match. Really just laying it in. Oh, strong impact. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Ah, oh, what a smash. That is just insulting.
Lift off. Diving shoulder tackle. Will it be? I think so. What a win for this superstar. An incredible matchup, highly competitive. And this superstar certainly earned the right to be the victor. What? Oh, whoa. Got a steel chair. Come Wear on. Your opponent out. This is too far. A statement made tonight. Things are about to get just too sweet. The OC is here and ready to have each other's backs. The following is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring at a combined weight of 505 pounds. The World Tag Team Champions, Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows, the OC. You know you are in for an all-out fight facing the OC. Two men with a high in-ring IQ, high intensity, and high goals to achieve. Behold the Ravishing One. And their opponents, first from Robbinsdale, Minnesota, weighing in at 240 pounds, Ravishing Rick Rude. Take a look, Sweat Hogs. That is what a real man looks like. I don't know if there's enough room in this building for yours and Rick Rude's ego. Shifting gears now, i like to take this opportunity to wish everybody a very happy 4th of July. And if you're into fireworks, don't touch that remote because this one is sure to be explosive. Ugh, who writes your stuff? A couple of all-American athletes. And accompanied by Rick Steiner, Representing the Steiner Brothers from Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at 276 pounds, Scott Steiner! One of those rare championship brother teams. They just know where the other is all the time. They'll fight anyone in the locker room, even each other. Epic clashes with all the top teams in WCW and WWE. Multiple Hall of Fame duos have been unable to stop the Steiners. One of the few teams in the game to hold tag titles in WCW, WWE, and Japan. The 
the OC out here ready to handle their business like they've always done. This could easily turn into a brawl just the way the OC likes it. As accomplished as everyone in this group is, they all understand that sometimes you just have to scrap to get things done. It's something you have to respect. Was definitely not thinking about finesse with that one. Was only thinking about dominance. Power with a sidewalk slam. Oh, what an uppercut. And Rick dodges that one. What a bionic elbow. Down to Odin. And a double axe handle smash. That catches Rick looking. One response after another. Back and forth we go. Knee right to the midsection. Oh, this is just disrespectful. As his toughness was called into question by that offense. Yeah, Rude making quite the impression. Ooh, DDT delivered. He's tagging out. Some showboating from Luke Gallows here. Elbow drop. Piercing. Ah, look at this. Just cranking it out. Cranking the head. Oh, this is just too far. Get some control in there. Oh, look at this aggression. Just pure oh, brutality. Come on, easy. Down to Odin. And a double axe handle smash. And Gallows reverses. Legs caught. Oh, elbow to the knee. That'll hyperextend your leg. Oh, right in there. He went right into that turnbuckle. The boot of Gallows got him. Putting up a united front as this match continues. That well scouted. Quickly the cover. Big kick out. He really thought that was it. Measured up and fist drop. Kick lands. Oh, stomping away. Ow! Wait, 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 wait! Quick shoulder up. It'll take more than that to hold him down. Oh, targeting the arm. This has got to hurt. Trying to fight with a hurt arm is no easy task. Tossed into the corner. And that prevents any offense from... His partner's got to be thankful for that. What a save. Ooh, vicious right for him. Boom. And it looks like that one opened a pretty good gash on Rick. There's a tag. Off the tag. Double team action on the way. Oh, and into a big boot. Drops the hammer. Look at that. Could be it. Fights the shoulder up at one. I don't know what more this superstar can do to put him away. <laughs> Sharp elbow to the gut turns that one around. Ooh, bad landing. Gallo's aggression seemed to be quelled by that attack. Oh, could this be it? Delivering efficiently the rude awakening. Will that close Luke out? He got whipped into that corner. Cork screw shoulder tackle. Steiner cuts him off. The WWE Universe is pouring more fuel on his fire right now. Got the tag. Got the tag. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Plucked out of the air. Hoist it up. Carl Anderson tags in. Oh, what an uppercut. I lost the tooth. He may get the three count right here. This is it. There's a shoulder up almost immediately. How at this point? 
You don't even stay down long enough for a one count is beyond comprehension. this fight. Not down and out yet. Looking wobbly in the corner. Uh-oh. Great counter. Impressive ring IQ on display there. Not where you want to be right now. Uh-oh. This is, this is risky. This is dangerous. From the top. And that's going to jam Scott's offense. After a shot, Ooh, ruthless striking. Carl is attacking from every angle. A series of disabling maneuvers from Carl. Tag made the OC. Uh-oh, perhaps looking to put an end to this with the magic killer. Carl may have sealed things up. The cover, maybe not. The breakup. Uh-oh. Scott fights back. And Steiner is finally changing the tempo with that attack. Could be a chance for him. Tag made. What are we going to see now? The OC. The magic killer. Is there any air left in Scott? There's two. No, stops the count at two. A long two and a half in the waning moments of this match. I don't know how there is anything left in these superstars' bodies. Yeah, the tank is being emptied tonight. Ooh, stinging kick. When you're in an atmosphere like this, when you can't hear yourself think because the crowd's so loud, you find a way to do superhuman things. That's what these combatants are doing here. Just cranking the head. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. In full control here. Face first in the turnbuckle. Ooh, what an elbow. A barrage of elbows over and over again. There's a tag. He made the tag. Cooking with gas now. Oh, this is just too far. Get some control in there. Oh, it is aggression, just oh, pure brutality. Come on, easy. Big back body drop. He's starting to struggle here. Yeah, they've stuck it out through this match, but it wouldn't hurt to go for the tag soon here. in the arm. Oh, close line. Here he goes for the win. Can he close it out? No, two count. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I don't either. Can this ref even count to three? Saw the opening and turned it into a jawbreaker. Oh, place knee right to the midsection. This place is going insane. The ground beneath my feet is shaking. Placing them into the corner. Chucked down to the ground. Perched on the ropes. Carefully measured fist drop. He's finding himself in trouble here. Yeah, not looking good at all. Gallows isn't looking too good, brothers. I'm not your brother. Don't speak ill of Gallows. He's going to be just fine. Tag is made, and here we go. No, Scorpion death drop. Good night. Oh, Rick. 
wicked kick to the lower back. Perched up top. Diving knee drop. We got a cover. And he fights it off. I cannot believe what I'm seeing right now. No one can. Look at this heel hook. This is how you punish your opponent, and he's enjoyed every minute of it. And Carl adds to the damage he's already handed out. We knew Anderson had this in him. We knew how effectively he can take charge. Into the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. Oh, right to the body. So to the stomach. Just ruthless. One, two. Oh! He is just reeling from that offense. These two teams have gone to war, Cole. Of course they're going to wind up with a few battle scars. Barrage of elbows over and over again. And able to counter. Scott gets waylaid. Oh, what a knee lift. Somebody better check his nose. Jarring impact. Tagging his partner in now. Placed into the corner. Oh, right to the body. Oh, and Scott fights back. Oh, Anderson. What a rocket kick. Luke Gallows tagged in. Oh, no, 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 no. no. And that's going to be good pin. Keeps his team in the match. Finds the advantage after a string of counters. Double big back body drop. The WWE Universe standing at attention. Completely entranced by this matchup now. Can't miss action taking place in front of them. Nobody wants to blink. They do not want to miss a second of the action at this point. Tag is made, and he's coming in hot. Fighting out. Hammered away with punches to the face. Comes in off the tag. Oh, and a bionic elbow. Down to Odin and a double axe handle smash. There it is. Snap suplex. Oh, vicious body shot. A little rope assistance attacking the arm. Rick Wood. Rude just turned the lights out. Cover! Whoa, what a save! That should have been three. One! Up and Carl just getting knocked around. And Anderson looking for a solution. Ah, look! Gallows. Look at the power of the Gallows pole! That could end Rick's night. Can't end it. And he makes the save for his team. Getting him into the corner. Look at this, going right after the left arm. Gotta hurt. Great reversal. Boot 
to the gut will stop anyone in their tracks. Sends their opponent down. Identifying the target. Fist drop. We've already seen a few shots delivered up in that region. Forearm after forearm. Vicious attack. Reaches his partner for the tag. Oof. Retaliated with a knee to the face. Ooh. Some showboating from Luke Gallows here. Just a dominant display. My goodness. For the win. Two count. And a kick out at two. Obviously still has some fight left. Avoiding contact. Caught with a clothesline. Vicious right forearm. Perhaps thinking about what to do next year. Dismantling the arm in the corner. Gotta hurt. Flinged across the way. What a punch! Rick Rude with the tag. He moved, but can he catch? Going out there, deadlifting prowess and just tossing them aside. Tag. <laughs> Rich in the arm. Boom. Close line. He went right into that turnbuckle. Uh-oh. Face full of turnbuckle. Saw that one coming. Took advantage. Rocket kick. Boom! He gets tagged in. Uh-oh. Rake right across the back. Goal impact. Luke Gallows tagged in. Big time shoulder block with a corkscrew. <laughs> Fends off the attack with an elbow. These two having an answer for everything. Placing them right where they want them, into the corner. Brutal short arm Larry. Here's the cover for the win. And there's the save. This is not going to end well. Big time power. Bomb. Heading up, he's thinking big. From the top, elbow drop. Tagged into the action. Lights out here. Oh no, maybe not. Yeah, no. He doesn't get the three. The muscle memory has got to be taken over now. Pure instinct to kick out before three. He's been placed in the corner now. And he finds an answer for Gallows. And Gallows able to reverse that. He 
Shoulder tackle after shoulder tackle. So ruthless. celebrating together. Great chemistry tonight. I don't think the OC is going to let this be their undoing. They'll just come back more determined than ever to set things right. Oh, 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 are you guys ready? The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Weighing in at 212 pounds, the WWE Light Heavyweight Champion, Christian Page. The tension building for this match is so thick you can cut it with a knife. A lot of drama involved with this one. And guys, if you're looking for fireworks on this 4th of July, you came to the right place because this match will be nothing short of explosive. Come on, Cole. You're better than that. Did you really have to go with the fireworks line? Oh, come on. Who am I kidding? Of course you did.
Imperium has arrived. A united group with one unwavering mission to prove that the mat is sacred. And his opponent, representing Imperium from Vienna, Austria, weighing in at 297 pounds, Gunter! It's amazing, guys. Everything about Imperium runs like clockwork. Yeah, they walk in lockstep, exhibit teamwork. There are zero holes in the game of Imperium. And it's a testament to their mission statement. The mat is sacred. And very quickly, I can tell you that these superstars are very excited to have the opportunity to compete here tonight on Independence Day. And similarly, we're excited to be able to call the action for you, especially for this match. This is going to be great. The ring general Gunther ready to wage war in the ring here. Cole, there are so many metaphors to describe Gunther's abilities in the ring, and you went with the most obvious one. That's what I get for expecting anything more than average from you. That's where Gunther and I are very similar, Cole. We expect everyone to operate on our high level, and anything less is an insult. Oh boy, this is gonna be a long night. Well, there's a tough test across the ring, and it's got championship gold draped all over it. Always a different kind of match when you go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a title holder. Well-placed elbow to break up the maneuver. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. The defensive elbow to the gut ends that. Gets him with the counter. Knife edge chop echoing through the arena. Oh! Stopped him in their tracks with a kick to the gut. Uh-oh. Good timing with that reversal. He must have had that scouted. And that, oh my God, what a forearm! Right to the jaw. Series of reversals. Bulldog. German suplex. Drop kick. And what do you think Gunther's strongest asset is in this match, Corey? You know why they call Gunther the ring general, Cole? Because he commands the match. Lean on that power and that ruthlessness to keep the match in control and beat the fight out of his opponent. He is getting rid of the turnbuckle pad. Don't say that too loud, Saxon. He might get caught. Taking this outside. This could be good. That might be it. And a kick out. Somehow, some way. Shot to the chest. Gunther got surprised there. Drop kick. It's the mark. Oh. Pow, what a shot. Kick to the gut. Cranked around into a neck breaker. Rolling neck snap. Gunther has everything working against him now. Gunther is being subjugated to a beatdown. Flat line. Man, face first. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. 
From the top, frog splash! Picture perfect. Cover! Two! Shoulder up, shoulder up! That is just pure instinct at this point. In position, ready to strike! Here it comes! Booter showing he's not out of it. He isn't allowing that burst of attacks to finish him. He's struggling a bit here. Gunther with steely resolve. Gunther wants to finish this. Driven down with the power bomb. Gunther might just have it. Oh, not yet. They just got the shoulder up. He is just barely still in the fight. I don't know how many more times he's going to be able to kick out after that. That was too close for comfort. It is just unbelievable. And Gunther's tank has got to be running low, guys. I don't know what his game plan is now. Setting it up. Thunderous clothesline. And there's the cover. No, he gets the shoulder up. How in the world did he kick out? They are fading off the WWE fans, now pinning the arm down and delivering nasty stops. He is looking to do some serious harm. He's got to know he's in harm's Whoa. way here. Uh-oh. Cross body. Whoa. That is tossing your own body around without care. Taking no account for their own well-being. Knees up. Got the knees up just in time. Oh, man, he is more than fired up right now. Chopped to the chest. Dodged right on cue. Drop kick on target. What are you guys thinking? Obviously not about the ref's count, Cole. <laughs> Muscles up their opponent. Edward Frozen. It's all good thirds for the taking. Cover. stands tall and gets the win. You have to think this was the only way Gunther planned for this match to end. The ring general standing over his opponent once again. Oh, uh, look at him, maybe shake hands to start this match. Good sportsmanship here. Yeah, I like to see this. Or, uh, oh, no. I don't like oh, seeing that. that. sportsmanship. This is what I like to see. Let him fight. Well, that's going to fire him up for sure. Well, guys, you know, they should have known better than to take the bait. And one of these two superstars ended up looking like a fool, and we are just getting started. Tensions are high. Well, here we go. We shouldn't expect a friendly bit of competition between these superstars in this one. This match is a power keg, ready to blow. Emotions are running very high between these superstars. Well, that's one explanation for the unchecked violence we witnessed before the bell. Right to the kidneys from behind. A counter answered by another counter. Undertaker DDT. Close line. What impact. Springboard stunner by Cena. Hurricanrana. That was completely ridiculous. It's just unfair to have size and agility. Turns that back on Cena. Catch 
to the punch. John Cena's in-ring action has been somewhat infrequent the past few years. You have to imagine that ring rust might play a part in this match tonight, Corey. I would agree with you, Cole, if it were anyone other than Cena. While he might not step through the ropes as regularly as he used to, Cena still maintains that peak physical conditioning he's always had. That's going to be hard for anyone to overcome. Oh, watch this, fellas. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Situational awareness with a knee to the abdomen. Boom! And that one misses the mark. And he gets sent back into the ring. Neck is trapped. Neck box suplex. Showing that he might just have the Undertaker's number. Yeah, that was that hustle of Cena he's always talking about. Undertaker retaliates. DDT by the Undertaker. He could pin his opponent right here. Kick out at one. Got to change something up with the pin technique. Reversal. What a counter. Uh-oh. Quick thinking to unleash the clothesline. She just tossed the leg. I'll just leave it at this. Nobody comes into a match hoping to get chucked around like that. He heads outside. Countout's legal in this match. <laughs> Grabs the leg. Just launched. He's absorbing some tough hits now. Taker bringing forth another unholy attack there. Thrown out of ringside and back to the mat. He's going for it all. Flying. Oh, and he doesn't connect. DDT. Uh-oh. He switched cover. He narrowly avoids the count. And frustration might be starting to set in. Undertaker, the power of the Phenom has him up point. And a longer way down. Last ride. I felt the vibration of that one from all the way. The Undertaker puts it away. The Undertaker with a tremendous win. Here is your winner. The Undertaker. Some could say this loss really added insult to injury. It was enough to be disrespected earlier on, but the loss definitely didn't help matters to disrespect your competition and then definitively beat them like this, it sure stings a bit. But let's not rain on their parade. They earned it.
Well, we got to decide which one of these men will start the match for their respective teams. Yeah, it doesn't look like things are going too well, does it? Well, a few hiccups early on, but there's the bell, and here we go. Some dissension among the ranks, guys. Well, if these two can't get on the same page, there is no chance of success. With this matchup officially underway now, I have to say, Penny predicament, shoulders down. Two! He kicks out before three. I'm surprised he wasn't able to kick out sooner. He moves just in time. Tough position to be caught in here. Bruno San Martino, a wind up and a thunderous double axe handle. Bruising attack to the stomach. Clean tag for his partner. We're going to see it. Gut wrench power bomb. A power bomb like that will leave you with bruises and remind you of this moment for days. Taking it to the shoulder. Set up in the corner of the ring. Into a fireman's carry, nicely done. Teamwork making the dream work right here with that display. He turns it around. Yokes up their opponent. Sidewalk slam delivered. Shoulders down to the count. Not even a two count for him. Oh, God. The damage he's taken is starting to pile up. Good old Stone Cold just delivering a straightforward beatdown. that caused the damage, but they certainly contributed. Bulldog brings them down. Ooh. Wow, what impact. Oh my gosh, what impact. Knee right to the temple. And had that one scouted. Brutus Creed turning up the intimidation factor. The ref still counting, might be a count out. Great wherewithal to beat the count. Almost drove him through the ring. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Able to elude it. In the corner he goes. A perfectly placed target. Uncorked a big punch. Followed up with the massive headbutt. Nothing was being held back with each of those strikes. And yeah, it's about time to heavily consider tagging in that partner. Oh, there's a response against Bruno. Uh-oh. This isn't going to be pretty. All the way out of place. 
Looks like some words have been exchanged. And body language is telling me they might not have been the kindest. Double pass handle. Oof. And set right into the corner. Boom! What a white. Oh, target in the arm. This has got to hurt. Leaving himself open here. Oh. oh my God, this is gonna be nasty. I can't believe the catastrophic goal cataclysm. Oh, shoulders down. He gets the kick out after the one. Not quite enough to put him away. Suplex. Ooh, and a reversal. Oh, what a clubbing blow. Steve Austin in off the tag. Yeah, on the apron. This is this is getting out of hand. Don't do this. Off the apron to the floor hard. Ah, oh, oh, look at the well-placed elbow right on the mark. Talk about dismantling your opponent. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Nice amateur takedown all the way over. And that was an efficient display of offense with that maneuver. Here comes Austin. Hammer away with the right hands. And he gets delivered back into the ring. He may not be aware of the count. He's got to get back in. He's got it. Oh, ho, ho. let's get it on. Here's the Gorilla Press. Insane. What power. Up and down. Not done yet. Beautiful moonsault. <laughs> wow. Did that just happen? Kick it out before the count. Wow. I thought this was over. He saw it coming. Dropped him with a big shoulder tackle. Austin with a stone cold stutter. Creed could not avoid the big shot. Keep these guys in check. He got whipped into that corner. Hurled away. God. Brutus Dodd is out of that. What a counter by Brutus. Able to avoid there. He's returning fire. What a shot. Uh oh. Oh, got Austin back. Oh, you're a pin up for cut. Austin, we're going to pay off it to the Lone Star State. Here are your 
winners, the team of Bruno Sammartino and Steve Austin. Able to shake that disharmony and come out with the victory. That's going to be a great feeling. Well, it also has to be hard knowing that might have been the end of the relationship. We'll have to wait and see on this one, guys. Even though they got the win, I don't know if this rift is too big to overcome. The following contest is a triple threat tag team match. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 501 pounds, Solo Sokoa and Jimmy Uso, the Bloodline. Gentlemen, this has all the makings of an all-time classic match, and I fully expect it to deliver on that promise. And guys, if you're looking for fireworks on this 4th of July, you came to the right place because this match will be nothing short of explosive. Come on, Cole. You're better than that. Did you really have to go with the fireworks line? Oh, come on. Who am I kidding? Of course you did. One of the greatest of all time, Harley Race. And from Kansas City, Missouri, weighing in at 253 pounds, the King of Wrestling, Harley Race. Harley Race, one of the most decorated champions in wrestling history, and now the king of WWE. And very quickly, I can tell you that these superstars are very excited to have the opportunity to compete here tonight on Independence Day. And similarly, we're excited to be able to call the action for you, especially for this match. This is going to be great. The personification of intensity, Macho Man Randy Savage. And from Sarasota, Florida, weighing in at 239 pounds, Macho Man Randy Savage. One of the all-time greats, truly a once-in-a-lifetime talent, the Macho Man Randy 
Savage. Incredible, incredible superstar, Hall of Famer, legend. <laughs> That's right. There is only one macho man, Randy Savage. You are looking at the personification of unrivaled intensity. And yeah, Macho Man Randy Savage, as intense as he is charismatic. Get ready for a technical clinic. Expect nothing less from the Hitman. And from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, weighing in at 235 pounds, Brett the Hitman Hart. The consummate professional in and out of the ring. Brett's ability, once that bell rings, is second to none. The excellence of execution isn't just a catchy moniker. With his agility, his prowess, Brett is determined to redefine what sports entertainment is all about. An undeniable talent like Bret Hart. Now this is what a master technician looks like. Bret always pushes his opponents to the limit, and he expects and demands they do the same to him. This match could be a real battle. And here comes one of my favorites. Tornado tag with multiple teams facing off. Things are going to get frantic fast. Whatever team comes out of this with their hand raised is going to make a strong case for being the best in WWE. And face first with a waist lock takedown. Now he's 
been forced to take a breather. That last sequence didn't go as he planned. Jimmy gets intercepted. Oh my goodness, he's going a little off balance. Side headlock applied. Very good Watch. measure. Lifted way up. Oh, atomic drop. <laughs> Turning the tables there. Throw 
into the ring. A baseball bat? With a weapon like that in play, this is not going to be good. Able to reverse. Some way he is still in this. Double left takedown on their opponent. Trying to step through. There's the save. How close was that? Harley Race has him hooked with the fisherman suplex. Soup shoulders down. Stars can still be moving at this point is beyond the realm of reality. Oh, oh man. He's got the target acquired. Ooh. Just a matter of moments. Oh, man, that was nasty. They weren't that good looking anyway. The hitman in the crosshairs. Spike. Now Solo needs to end this. And Jimmy gets knocked around again. Yeah, Jimmy has to recover. This is it. Back to race. And they're still in this. Wrenching the arm. Driven all the way. Rapid fire. Samoan drop. Swinging the elbow to halt the offense. Oh, what a plex. Very measured elbow drop. But meanwhile, Hart. Oh, nice. Hart wasting no motion on the counter. Some shock in the arena after that kick out. Oh! Up and. There's the arm ringer, followed by the leg drop. Shooter applied. Will this do it? Brett's got the sharp. And he may have felt his grip slipping, so he releases the hold. Still was able to produce some considerable damage. Red Hart looking to put this thing away. He's got the sharp shooter. The enforcer of the bloodline. Whoa, this is surprising. Byron. Yeah, I'm not really sure why he would let him out right there. Uh oh. Elbow drop. Hoping to end it here. This is it. That could have been it right there. Meanwhile, race. He had it scouted. Uh oh, this is going to be ugly, guys. Look out. Oh, atomic drop. just going to keep on coming if you can't find the defense for this. These are the kind of attacks that completely throw off your equilibrium. Man. Targeting the throat there. Fires back with a knee across the midsection. This place has come unglued. Rightfully so. Neckbreaker. First with a waistlock takedown. Staved off that attack. Oh, big stun. And there's the cover. Almost ended it there. Almost in 
human at this point. From behind. Back suplex. Vulgar to 
display of ruthlessness. Now oh, look at this ruthlessness in the bottom turnbuckle. Delivering the suplex. Down to Bonin and a double axe handle smash. the pin, but now we see Hart. Off they go! He can end it here! He's got him! And the count's broken, keeping the match alive. Counters that! Uh-oh! Double leg takedown could be looking for a submission here. This couldn't do it! And the sharpshooter is applied! Oh, body is not... And he releases the hold. I don't think he had it fully locked in. From behind, Sharp. here he goes for the win! Danny Clark, now oh, step through, here it comes! Bret Hart, Sharp Shooter! Sharp Shooter applied. Sharp Shooter's locked in. Oh! Saving his team! Side headlock applied. Mm, good Gosh. measure. Bad suplex. Very nice. Harley with retaliation. And he sends him into the corner. Wicked clothesline. Despicable. That was simply a despicable display we just saw. And he's able to counter. Side headlock applied. Oh, oh good gosh. measure. Oh, using a hammer like this was a track and field event. Double underhook applied. <laughs> From behind, German suplex. Uh-oh. Crossbody catches them off guard. might carry on the rest of the month.